Good morning, dear colleagues. My name is Olga Vikrova, and uh, uh, my talk today is about the performance study of a network uh, selection algorithm employing multicast transmission. Uh, this work was done by my colleagues from the University of Mediterranean of Radio Calabria in collaboration with Professor Gabriel Miramontin from uh, Dublin City University. Here is the outline of my talk. Uh, <coughs> after the brief introduction and background of the research, I will present the main uh, structure of uh, the proposal uh, and uh, we will discuss some simulation results. So I would like to start with uh, a few references for the um, growing demands on um, uh, high, uh, high resource consuming services like uh, video streaming, video gaming, and mobile TV. Uh, Cisco, uh, uh, Cisco forecast uh, highlights that uh, the mobile, vi uh, mobile video share uh, in 2021 will, will increase up from 60 to 78% with respect to the results of the uh, year 2016. At the same time, the number of uh, connected mobile devices continue to grow, and uh, at the end of 2021, it will be three times more than the population, uh, than the world population. The multicast uh, service uh, may be a key, uh, will, will, uh, will play a key role in 5G, uh, wireless uh, networking supporting ever increasing uh, broadband, broadband traffic requirements. Uh, <coughs> the group oriented services, service, uh, the group oriented data delivery uh, organized to the set of uh, endpoints that form a multicast group. Uh, point to point to point to multi point technology. Uh, can significantly, significantly increase the capacity of the wireless system since the uh, full multicast group can be served just as by a single transmission. Uh, multicast services uh, in toge uh, together with uh, other 5G enabling technologies uh, and trends can be uh, are considered as a, a value added uh, a service to 5G wireless system. Well, this work is mainly focused on the issue uh, related to the network selection in uh, inevitable network densification. Uh, moreover, it is also deals with some uh, resource allocation problem uh, and mainly related to the appropriate selection uh, and balancing of unicast and multicast transmission in high-dense network scenarios. So in details, what is the high-dense network? Usually high-dense refers to some scenarios when the number of uh, small cells are deployed within the um, uh, coverage, uh, macro cell coverage area. And uh, uh, the main goals of uh, dense net is to uh, increase the reliability of service delivery and offload uh, multi uh, macro cell traffic to the small cells. Uh, also, uh, network densification helps to increase the quality of uh, e um, experience for the users uh, located at the edge, uh, on the edge of the cells. Uh, moreover, it helps to increase the battery uh, life due to the fact that the um, uh, the energy consumption um, could be reduced when the device is connected to the small cell. Nevertheless, some of uh, uh, nevertheless the network densification has some issues uh, related to the proper network selection. Uh, first of all, any mobility uh, within the this uh, environment uh, significantly increases the complexity of the system. Uh, this um, mobility can uh, raise the, the issue of uh, unnecessary handover 
so uh, so called ping pong effect between several cells. Also, it may increase the signal, uh, signal overload and uh, mm. such uh, dense scenarios require a proper resource uh, uh, radio resource management algorithm and proper network selection. Uh, while the multicast also has some um, multicast delivery also has some issues related to the uh, link, adapta uh, link, link adaptation that which is based on the uh, on per group basis. Uh, and so the uh, appropriate model, uh, modulation coding scheme selected uh, based on the uh, link uh, based on the quality of um, channel uh, on the quality of downlink channel and there is mainly two uh, schemes or two approaches how to uh, select the proper uh, modulation coding schemes for a multicast group the conventional multi multicast scheme uh, is based uh, is also co uh, called a fair policy when the uh, modulation coding scheme choose according to the uh, worst uh, feedback provided by devices in the multicast group, while the opportunistic multicast scheme allows to uh, choose the better modulation coding scheme, but at the same time some of, some of devices could be, let's say, expelled from the multicast group. So let's uh, uh, turn to the reference scenario. Uh, in each overlapping uh, area, users uh, perform a network selection. Uh, uh, as, a result, the as a result of uh, our algorithm, uh, a proper network will be choose and as well as the appropriate uh, service, either multicast or uh, unicast. Uh, so the algorithm itself uh, can be implemented in three phases. First phase is a measurement collection. The, uh, the second step is a computer uh, uh, utility evaluation, and finally, uh, finally, mm, the network selection is performed. Uh, during the measurement uh, collection stage, uh, the information uh, from each devices in overlapping area is uh, uh, collected. Uh, then, according to the collected information, the uh, utility score uh, can be computed <coughs> and I will explain the next slide in more details how it, will, how it, how it is made and uh, the result of uh, network selection is the right uh, cell from which the device will receive service and the type of service, service itself either multicast or unicast service well the utility uh, function uh, is composed uh, in fact of four uh, uti weighted utilities. Uh, yeah, it is, um, it was, m it, it <coughs> worth mentioning that, uh, yeah, so these uh, four utilities related to quality of service, energy con device energy consumption, uh, user satisfaction index, and uh, <coughs> bandwidth <coughs> utilization. Uh, well, if we speak about the quality uh, quality of service uti utility function that is uh, related to UK, uh, we uh, um, let's say bound the ban the achievable throughput <coughs> by minimum and maximum values. Uh, we consider the maximum values according uh, th thinking that uh, if the uh, achievable band uh, if achievable throughput is higher than the maximum value uh, nor uh, device will not expect any improvement in uh, quality of user experience um, uh, satisfaction uh, index utility that is us it is a ratio between the uh, achieve between the required and achieved throughput and it is uh, important to say that um, when we consider unicast transmission, mm, this matrix uh, is more likely to be close to one, while uh, 
uh, users that join multicast group uh, will never, uh, almost never uh, can achieve the, uh, the required throughput due to the fact that uh, the more number of uh, devices in a multicast group, the less will be the modulation, chosen modulation coding scheme according to the conventional um, multicast scheme. Uh, so the, this ratio will be uh, almost always less than one. And finally, the utility related to the uh, bandwidth utilization, that is the last formula on this slide. Uh, uh, well, it shows the, uh, the, relations, the relationship between uh, uh, the number of resource blocks, rec radio resources required for the uh, delivering the service to the to the device uh, to the user uh, to the uh, number of resources available in the area uh, when uh, user uh, if user receive multicast service the ratio uh, uh, will be equal to zero because new uh, when a new user join a multicast group, no additional resources uh, should be provided to that. So the uh, bandwidth utilization uh, utility is close to one in this case. Uh, here the simulation, uh, before uh, discuss simulation result, uh, here are some uh, overview of our simulation setup and test cases. Uh, so we can see that um, LTE ASL with uh, radius of 5,000 uh, meters uh, and uh, up to 60 femta cells are deployed within the coverage area of a macro cell. Uh, users move with a different speeds, uh, brand uh, users randomly move within the coverage air with different speed from 3 to 60 kilometers per hour. and. Uh, 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 we uh, formulate four test cases. The first test case actually was uh, investigated in a paper of my colleague, but uh, they would like to tailor out uh, the algorithm to um, the delivery of broadband services. So in uh, each of test case two, three, and four, they were trying to assign a higher weight for uh, service quality metrics and uh, understand uh, how the assignment of user satisfaction, uh, user satisfaction also can affect the, um, the overall results uh, in choosing the uh, service and uh, the right um, cell. Uh, well, if we look to the left plot, uh, we can say that uh, the, this result, result was um, quite expected one since the, uh, it is shown that the average throughput increased when they increase in the weight for uh, service quality. Uh, since the service quality is in priority in our algorithm, uh, so the, the algorithm push uh, users to choose uh, such a network where the throughput can be increased. But the more interesting results shown on the second or on the right uh, figure, uh, where we can see that the actual uh, resource uh, the, mm, the resource weight increase when decreasing the weight for uh, utility uh, for the mm, utility function related to the quality of service. It means that the increasing of throughput uh, in our in case of our algorithm uh, is made not uh, due to the increase in the number of uh, radio resources used. In fact, the best uh, throughput achieved with the lowest uh, resource utilization. Uh, moreover, uh, the mm, the number of uh, multicast flows uh, 
are preferred to Unicast services in all four test cases. Uh, it shows that the great importance assigned to uh, ut uh, quality to utility related to the quality of service push our algorithm to mm, uh, to connect uh, push uh, users to connect uh, to establish multicast uh, connection uh, with the within the femta cell in more details uh, in the last plot we can we can see that um, when the mm, when we increase the weight for uh, user uh, for the service quality and uh, user satisfaction index, we may say that uh, only users with the uh, best channel quality will be served through, through the unicast transmission, while the rest uh, users, and most of them, will be served through the multicast transmission. Uh, due to the fact that the lowest allowed <coughs> modulation coding scheme for a femto cell is, is assi was assigned to the six, uh, it means that um, mm, uh, devices with uh, um, with uh, relatively good channel quality can be uh, served through the femta cells. Uh, devices with the best channel quality will be served will be served through the unicast transmission, and devices with a very poor uh, channel quality will be served through the multicast transmission, but in macro cell. In conclusion. I would like to mention that uh, well, once again, this paper uh, was dealing with the problem of um, proper network selection in uh, high dense uh, network scenarios, <coughs> and also it was uh, aimed to un to balance unicast and multicast transmission in such scenarios. Uh, the algorithm, the hybrid unicast multicast uh, utility based network selection algorithm was tailored for high-quality data delivery in mobile in wireless communication, in uh, wireless systems. Uh, and in particular, the main of the results uh, show that by varying the weight of um, utility function, mm, the, uh, mm, the better uh, system performance uh, could be uh, improved by uh, using multicast transmission with, uh, with respect um, to the uh, with, with respect to the uh, common scenario uh, in uh, in 5G system, the simulation results show that the, uh, increasing the importance of the quality with respect uh, to the. With respect to the pre uh, present average throughput increase, uh, uh, with the increase in the uh, uh, utility, uh, the utility function for the throughput performance, uh, the mm, uh, mm, the added gain can be uh, achieved uh, by exporting the multicast transmission uh, to the femta cell. In fact, the proper uh, our um, algorithm uh, allow a proper uh, balancing between unicast and uh, multicast uh, services in that scenario. <laughs>